am going to be going completely off book with this one. When you think of the STG, you think of a damage range, no recoil monster, one of the easiest weapons to use in the entire game, kind of like the MCW. But I took a completely different approach. We targeted fast aim down sight speed, fast movement speed, and we're using it like the Peacekeeper or the MTZ 556, a close range aggressive style of assault rifle. And with all the attachments I have here for you guys, you guys are going to fly around the map. I absolutely promise you guys can see in the firing range right now, and you guys are going to see in the gameplay an absolute monster. The first attachment you're going to want to add here is the A70 Venom stock that's going to increase your aim down sight speed by just a ton you can see an eight percent increase to aim down sight speed 11 percent to sprint to fire speed and then if we look even further into it we are also gaining even more towards mobility so one one attachment of many that we're going to be using to make this thing really fast paced for the rear grip i have the not z3 grip we are going to be sacrificing recoil control with this attachment but we are gaining even more sprint to fire and ads we're not going to be using this at super long range we're going to be using it for medium and close range so the three percent to the ads that's awesome but a massive 21% of the sprint to fire is going to give it SMG type handling, meaning you're going to get your gun up really quick and you're going to be running it well SMG style. For my underbarrel, the DR6 hand stop, increasing the handling, increasing the aggression, pretty self explanatory attachment at the end of the day. 9% of the ADS is gained here, that including 12% to the sprint to fire. And as you can see on the screen, even more movement 10% to crouch movement, 7% to the ADS movement, and then 4% to the just normal movement here. The next attachment is a muzzle, and it's the only recoil attachment I'm running on the entire build simply because I needed to control some fire aiming stability or visual shake on the weapon. It's going to sacrifice ADS, but trust me, at the end of the day, it's much easier to use with this because your screen's not shaking nearly as much. On top of that, it blocks that muzzle flash. So it's going to give you 5%. That's the Zem compensated flash. It gives you 5% to the horizontal recoil control, 15% to the vertical. But most importantly, it is going to give you that fire aiming stability. And our final attachment here is the factory short barrel for sprint to fire speed, gun kick control, and aim down sight speed. I uh, think the attachment's bugged. It doesn't actually give you gun kick control. But what it does do is, well, movement and handling, as you guys can see, the massive one again is that's 22% to the sprint to fire speed, 6% to the ADS, and some smaller values there, even more towards movement. Like I said, I know this is completely off book, and I bet a lot of you haven't even seen a build like this on YouTube, but I know a lot of fans on my channel play small map mosh pit, and this is the perfect build for that, especially if you're grinding camos or you're just looking to use the weapon as a whole. Super, super fast paced and very easy to use. As long as you're not taking a million meter gunfights, you're going to have nothing but success. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. As always, here's the rest of my loadout on the screen that you guys can also copy that down if you guys want to. Perk for perk, lethal for lethal, whatever you guys are looking to do. Make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me as always. Why don't you guys go down in the comment section and let me know if you guys want to see like a max damage or a no recoil or maybe a different movement style STG. I'll be happy to do that. Let's get into today's gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. So I built out a very aggressive STG here. Stereotypically, you would build this out for things like no recoil and maximizing damage range. I wanted to take a much different approach here because there's a lot of attachments you can actually add to this thing to make it really fast. I mean, look at this aim down sight speed. That's SMG ask ADS. That's basically the long story short of things. When Again, you think of the STG, you definitely don't think of the way I have this thing built out. That's for dang sure. Doesn't mean you can't be successful building it the way I have it. For example, like so. You see, you absolutely fly around the map with the build the way I have it. Just like that. We're getting pretty close to some streaks here. So it still has very low recoil, pretty simply because this weapon by default has low recoil. So by focusing on that recoil control, while also playing aggressive, it's good and very versatile. That's the word, versatile. Not gonna lie, that one hurt pretty bad. I didn't expect all of them to round that corner at the same time. Taking fire. Fully functional. If I were this guy, where would I be? Right there. Okay, we're back in it. Already on a 20. 
You can run, but you can't hide. Already got another advance. You got a tent now. We're going to hit the outside route here. Can't go that way. All right. If I'm reading this correctly, they should be right here. MGB. Now we can go VTOL. We're going to drop it right in the middle of the map. That was a quick MGB. Talk about being cracked at the moment. This guy's shooting my streak down. Is he still here? Nope, he did. All right, UAV is back in. So I do have plans to feature like a zero recoil build very soon, actually, uh, probably within another two weeks. I just wanted to cover this one first because it was kind of a little more fun, to be honest. The no recoil one's definitely going to be more viable because of how good of a long range weapon this is. There's still one more teammate. He's right there. Still have another UAV to call in here. Where are they at? This is a close game for what it's worth. With how I'm frying, normally when I fry like this, the games are not close. Just normally how it rolls. I am in the lion's den. Not this time, James Bond. That grenade came out of nowhere. James Bond coming in with the cook grenade right at my feet. Not sure what I, what more I could have done other than probably run EOD, of course. Sure. 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 Jeez, I'm crow, brother. The guy's picking my weapon up. What makes you think you can handle it? Enemy KIA. Friendly UAV on station. All right, maybe he can handle it.
All right, I am seven kills off a hundred seven. If I come over here and shoot through the back, sir, you're lagging. And he spawned behind me. All righty then. At this point, just getting absolutely slaughtered. I go on such a good streak to just get absolutely molly whopped. Cash money. There's a hundred. Hundred and seven. Again, close game for what it's worth. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the heck did all of you just come from? They just they just came out out of nowhere. Running low on the time here. This I'm on the wrong guy has been putting me on a freaking t-shirt. To be fair, he always catches me in like a second or third gunfight while I'm weak or when my back's turned to him. You know what? You guys are going to hold this and you're going to enjoy it. Ligma. I'm on the run. That one's dedicated to you, buddy. Hope you enjoy. Oh, you're going to enjoy. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming, buddy. That is going to be 125 on their forehead.